a three-decade veteran of Banco Central. Price stability will assuredly be a, a priority when you take the, the role of governor on July 3rd. But with inflation rising at the fastest pace since 2014, how is this going to shape your monetary policy outlook? Hello, hi. Uh, good morning. Well, uh, the way we look at it, um, as you know, we are an inflation targeting framework. And based on our own uh, forecast, we think that inflation will actually be uh, peaking uh, around the third quarter and it should taper off back uh, well within our uh, target range for inflation. So that gives us some um, comfort that uh, our settings, policy rate settings, are still appropriate at this time. So with that um, anticipation of moderating inflation, you likely will not see a moves in the, um, the, the rates likely, as economists expect? Well, it's still very data dependent because uh, baseline effects are still uh, in play at this uh, point of time. As, and as I mentioned, since uh, we are anticipating that this, uh, this, press, this acceleration will taper off uh, soon enough. So at this point of time, uh, there's really no... Uh, compelling need to uh, re review our monetary policy settings. And uh, from our perspective, the upside risks to inflation are in a way more related to our forthcoming uh, tax reform uh, proposals, although nonetheless uh, the, impl the inflationary impact of that is likely to be uh, transitory and should also wear away soon enough. Uh, Incapi Governor, just we have, we're looking at real interest rates, which are negative there in the Philippines. Now, you say you're data dependent. You've got to move ahead and hike because you can't go in a position like this, surely? Well, the situation is uh, under review, and we look at that situation every uh, six weeks. So, as I mentioned, uh, the Monetary Board yesterday considered a whole range of factors, and um, based on that assessment, there's no uh, reason at this time to take a, an action. Right, let's just talk a little bit about uh, foreign exchange flows at the moment, also remittances. Uh, are you happy with the state of the peso? We have seen it weaken. Uh, do you, are you comfortable with this level? What sort of level would you be uncomfortable with it? Well, we've always maintained the exchange rate uh, as being determined by market forces. And that's the way uh, it, has, it has been. And we have just moved primarily because of there are uh, large volatilities uh, that are, are, are moving it. Then that's the only occasion that we do a very limited uh, intervention. But, you know, our agenda for continuing uh, financial reforms continues, and that includes our uh, review of the the conditions under which we manage FX uh, controls. Now, can so we our last year GDP, GDP for the Philippines grew 6.8 percent. That's the fastest pace since 2010. Um, what is your assessment of the economy so far this year? And do you see any potential um, headwinds, perhaps, given the picture in China or um, the com the volatility we've seen in commodity prices? Well, uh, insofar as the domestic economy is concerned, uh, the, it is uh, very buoyant at this uh, stage, and it is driven by robust uh, household consumption, private investment, increased government spending, and there's a lot of uh, liquidity and uh, sustained uh, credit growth. So the domestic conditions are in good shape. Insofar as uh, external headwinds are concerned, uh, the outlook seems to have uh, significantly improved based on recent uh, assessments, like, for example, the IMF in its latest World Economic Outlook. Although there is recognition, we, we, we do recognize that there are downside risks. But the economy at this stage has uh, developed a lot of buffers to be able to manage uh, any uh, situation that might arise.